Good morning, children. In today's class, in today's Max class, we will see a very important topic: fundamental operations. We have basic fundamental operations which we use daily in our lifetime. Okay, so we will see what are we have four fundamental operations. Okay, four basic fundamental operation which we use in our daily life. Okay, children. Okay. First one is addition. Subtraction. Multiplication. And fourth one is division these are the basic things in mathematics you know that very well yes or no without do, doing addition subtraction multiplication and division using the numbers we can't do anything yes or no children so these are the basic fundamental operations which we have four fundamental operations we have addition subtraction multiplication and division okay children and this is also called arithmetic operations you might have heard this word arithmetic in last year itself you might have got a homeworks in arithmetic tables arithmetic tables is nothing but addition table subtraction table multiplication table and division table all those things are arithmetic tables okay so these fundamental operations are also called fundamentals arithmetic operations okay so in this fundamental operations first we will see addition today okay so we will see about addition alone today okay what is addition can you answer so what is addition so finding the total total number finding the total number of anything okay so suppose for example if you are having uh, some apples or uh, 10 apples you have and your brother or sister is having uh, some five apples you have 10 apples and your brother or sister is having five apples okay so how will you find the total by adding okay you will be counting 10 after that plus 5 you have to add after uh, how will you add this first from ones place you have to add okay so ones zero you have and five you have zero plus five you have nothing in this hand five in this hand so total will be five so five and here in tens place you have only one so totally you and your brother is having 15 apples okay so this is what addition is okay to find the total to find the sum of anything okay clear children shall we go to the example okay so you will see addition sums now suppose if they have given some 3805 next sum 1086 6801 and 358 so 5 3 so i have to add all these things so before that write ones tens hundreds thousand whenever you add or subtract or multiply you have to start from ones place clear children okay where is your ones place that is the last digit of each number okay so 5 5 is the last digit here 6 and 8 these three things you are going to add now so first first two we add 5 plus 6 5 in the mind 6 in the finger after 5 Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay, eleven. After eleven, you have to add this also. Okay, eleven. You keep it in your mind, and then you have to add the next number also. How many numbers you have? All the set of numbers you have to. All the digits you have to add. Okay, according to the place value. Clear. Now you have got eleven here. Is that no? By adding five and six, you have got eleven. And 
after that you have eight okay so you have to keep your uh, eleven in your mind and eight in the finger clear after eleven it will be twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen and nineteen okay so now the total of five six and eight is nineteen okay so how will you write this number so here also you have to take the ones place okay so 9 should be written here and this one what should we do with this one yes of course you have to carry over okay so this is called if you are carrying over and doing the sums means that is called addition with regrouping okay so you are regrouping that 19 you are not writing 19 in the same place okay so we are writing 9 here and 1 you are regrouping it is going to the next place so you are regrouping okay so now you have to add these four numbers okay four digits 1 plus 0 will be 1 1 plus 8 will be 8 plus 1 9 okay 9 9 in the mind and 5 in the finger after 9 10 11 12 13 14 okay so likewise 14 so how will you write this four you have to write four here and you have to regroup one to the next place in hundreds place okay so now you have to add 1 8 0 and 3 clear okay so 1 plus 8 will be obviously 9 9 plus 0 is 9 the same 9 plus 3 is 9 plus 3 3 in the uh, 9 in the mind 3 in the finger 10 11 and 12 so likewise how to write 2 here and 1 carry over 3 plus 1 plus 1 okay 3 plus 1 is 4 4 plus 1 is 5 you don't have any number here so you have to write 5 okay so see here here you have these two numbers are four digits Okay, I'm having four digits here. It is three digits. So while writing, I'll say, tell you how to arrange the numbers and add. Okay, so in fact, are you clear with this example, children? Okay. So now come to the next example. Suppose if they have given the number, so like um, four thousand two hundred eight plus. Thirty-six plus seven eighty-nine plus hundred and two, like this. If they have given, how you have to arrange all these numbers in vertical order, and then you have to add up. Okay, then for for before writing that, you just uh, writing the numbers. You just write the place values. Okay, so. Which is highest number? This four thousand two hundred and eight is the highest number, greatest number. So it has four digits. Four digits means how many place? What place you will be having from thousands place? Okay. So ones, tens, hundreds, and thousands. Still thousands you have. Okay. Now shall we write the first number now? Okay. So always while well, writing the number, start from the back side. Okay. Eight zero two four. Eight in ones place. Zero in tens place, two in one uh, hundreds place, and four in thousands place. Okay, now you have to write thirty six. Okay, three six thirty six. Thirty six six is in ones place, and three is in tens place. What is the next number? Seven hundred nine eighty nine. So nine, eight, and seven. Okay, then the next number is two. Zero and one. Now you have to add all these numbers. Okay, eight, six, nine, two. Eight plus six will be fourteen. Fourteen plus nine will be twenty-three. Twenty-three plus two will be twenty-five. So last digit twenty-five. Five you have to write here. Two you have to regroup to tens place. Two two plus zeros two. Two plus three, five. Five plus eight, thirteen. Thirteen plus zero is thirteen. So three and one. You have to carry over. One plus two is three. Three plus here you don't have any number. Three plus zero will be zero. 
sorry, 3. Uh, 3 plus 7 will be 10. 10 plus 1 is 11. So, 4 plus 1 is 5. So, this is how you have to arrange and add. Okay, children? So, in next class, we will see about subtraction. Okay?